But I, it, it is some myths, though, that's been said that I do want to debug. Well, between both guys. Mm-hmm. The first one is <laughs> this whole Jordan no left thing is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> like we gotta, we gotta nasty stop word. this, Ron. When you say nasty, nasty do you mean word. like, 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 like spoiled like food, food nasty, like, like spoiled food nasty? Like, please throw this out. It, Get rid it's, of this, it, it's no way that Jordan just didn't use his left hand or the left side of the court. We got, we gotta stop this, Trey. Everybody, we have to stop this. It's, mm-hmm. it's just, it's, it's, it's a myth. It's not real. It's oh. not true. Jordan, Jordan. Now, did he go to his left as much as he went to his right? Probably not. Did he finish with his left more than he finished with his right? Probably not. But yes, the did. fact that you you the, you guys just saying he couldn't go left at all, and the only thing he could do if he went left was pull up, yeah. that's just <laughs> it's not true. And, and not. if it was, then that then that one dribble pull up is the best the best move we've ever seen in the game. If yeah, that's so, the game. so that's what I'm saying. That that's exactly what I'm saying. That greatness and being the best are two different. They have to be categorized because. Let's say, for example, Jordan, if he can't go left or he got a higher left pull up every time. People going to study that shit to death to the point where he can't get that shit off. But you can't you can do that. Only, you can only, do that in his time with film, with different coaches coming in, measuring every analytics of footwork and how he get that off. It's just a different time. Again, it's my job to know and see this stuff like the Jordan. At the end of the day, they getting drunk before the game and then they go on the hoop. Ain't nobody studying film like that. Ain't nobody oh, breaking. Come on, bro. No, we're not, we're not doing not that. Good, right? Come on, bro. That was <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> I I I mean on, sure it, it, it was it was a lot of wild stuff going on, but I am yeah, I'm being funny, but yeah right. I, I, I am <laughs> doing my homework. Good. It's not like I'm just showing up and we'll, we'll see what happens against Jordan. No, but hell no. and I'm not That's taking not away from, I'm, I'm, I swear I'm not taking away from yeah the the studies and, and everything like that is just a different time. It's a different technology within the game. Everybody move is broken down. It's a different way to play. So yes, Jordan, you're right. Jordan could use his left hand, but the way within the specific defenses and who he going against, these moves that Jordan doing, when he do go downhill left, he are he always do a spin reverse right. Trey, so are you saying Jordan wouldn't get off today? No, I don't think so. I think he'll do it. All right, but I don't think so. What? Maybe and because so that's that's so, the next myth that that I that a, a lot of a lot of cats have said that they don't believe that Jordan can can transport it to this area, into this era. You do know Jordan will be, and we're just gonna just stick with this. You do know Jordan to be the most athletic player in the league, right? I gotta take oh. that back. He would he would get off today because of the fouls, because you can't hand check. Because yeah, he would go to line. Like, like imagine, not, imagine not yeah, being able to put hands on Michael like, Jordan. Give me. A he might. Point. You know what? I, I gotta apologize for that. Mm-hmm. He might fuck around and average fifty in his era. <laughs> because, be, because, but specific, <laughs> but specifically because of the rules. But if you take KD could survive in that era in the past. LeBron could survive in that era in the past. Yep. Steph Curry could survive in that era in the past. If you take that era and you put it now with these type of players, that's my perspective of it. But if Jordan is playing in this era the way the game is actually being played, yep. he probably averaged 50 because Jordan is smart enough to adapt to the rules. You know? Yep. M- Mars, so I, <laughs> I see you had a reaction to both sides. What is more likely, and I'm not going to say 50, 50 is ridiculous, but is it is it is it more likely for Jordan to average 40 today or is it more likely for him to just be mediocre? What's mediocre? Uh, 22 and seven, 22 and five, 23 and like Dame Lillard number, something like that. That's not mediocre. That's still elite. Yeah. I think, really, really like a, a role player. Is he better than Jalen Brown? Today? Oh my God. Yes. He's better than Jalen Brown, but I'm also a million percent confident. He wouldn't average 40. That's so a lot like, of points. B. What, what's, more game? Like, what's more likely him to be more. A it's more likely he'd average, average 40. 40. It's more likely he'd average 40. But I'm giving both of them pretty much no shot. But it's more likely he'd average 40. Because Jordan, Jordan's game isn't made to be a role player anyway. Like, yeah. he's, he's just he's not made to, like, spot up and shoot or just play defense and get it in transition. Like, that, that's not his game. His game is made to get him his touches, whether that's out of isolation or coming off cars and all of those things. Like, he's not made to be a role player, so he's not going to be a role player. But he's also not going to score 40. I, just, I don't think it's possible to score 40 on straight two-pointers. 
I just don't think that's possible with the way the game's being played right now. Because he's not shooting the three. So that means he's going to have to be taking like 28 shots a game. And I don't think a team has given someone 28 shots a game. So I don't think he'd average 40 just by the mathematical aspect of what 40 points entails. So I don't think either happens, but I definitely don't think he's a role player. 1,000% don't think he's a role player. I mean, he's so. shooting. He, he could, I mean, he's not knocking down a long ball at 35, 40%. No, he's not doing that. How many long balls would he have to shoot in today's game? Like, I mean, he doesn't have to. He's, he, no, no one's staying in front of him. He doesn't have to shoot him. If he doesn't, like, the end, MJ shooting a three would just be like, he you felt like shooting a three. Yeah, he like, he, he, no one could stay in front of him. He wouldn't have to shoot a three. So he could shoot, like, three a game, shoot 33%. Like, that's what made one three a game. Like, that's all he would really have to do. He wouldn't even have to do that. But, like, any time he shoots a three, it's like. Do, do you happen. not think Mike, he would evolve to learn how to shoot the three? I think oh, well, if we're going to make Super Michael Jordan, then... Super Mike. <laughs> yeah, if, we, if, we, if we're going to make Super Mike, then, yeah, maybe. I don't know. We got we get Super Mike where he's shooting 38% from three on seven attempts. Yeah, maybe he can average 40. I don't know. But I'm going off the Michael Jordan I've seen. And that man went shooting the three. Um, so if that man comes into today's game, he probably still wouldn't shoot the three. And I don't think he would have to. I mean, he'd be more of like a... Ja Morant, DeMar DeRozan hybrid. Like... John Morant, first step, speeds, get by people. DeMar DeRozan, mid-range, counters, um, get to the line, all of those things. That, that's this what DeMar DeRozan, this DeMar DeRozan. And in de I'm not bringing in defense. I'm, of course, I'm not bringing right, John. Yeah. I'm just doing offensively. That would be his hybrid. Right. And he'd be more I'm, of a ball handler I'm, in today's I'm, I'm not mad at that, though. I, I think that's a pretty accurate depiction. Obviously, bigger than Ja, faster than Ja, stronger than Ja, jump higher than Ja, finish mm -hmm. better than Ja, and obviously better in the mid-range than DeMar DeRozan. Right, just at getting to his spots, uh, making tough shots. I mean, Demar Derozan is phenomenal in the mid range, but he's not Jordan, though. And the way that see the fouls and going to the line is a big. That's why I say 40, 35, 40, something like that. Because if you go downhill to the right, as hard as Jordan goes down, he gonna get fouled. And he going to the, he getting ten free throws a game, minimum. I, he got ten free throws a game. Thing, in his era. Yes, he like, did, he, and he was getting body so, slammed. Right. Yeah. yeah, he got he got ten back then. I mean. I so, so these little let's, let's, taps, he's gonna get more shots because the game is faster. These little taps that he that they got in this era, he might get minimum 10 free throws a game. So that so, can go up to like 20. That could be 15. I mean, sure. his highest score is free season. throws a game. <laughs> that's not it, it just it, I mean that's an exaggeration, but yeah, his highest he score goes season, downhill, he took 12 free throws a game. He's he going downhill, he getting fouled every time. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, you're not you're not stopping Jordan again downhill without fouling him. His best season, he shot 12 free throws a game. That was the year he averaged 37. Mm -hmm. He took 28 shots a game and 12 free throws to get 37. Like, I don't think we're comp like when you don't shoot the three, because he shot 0.8 a game. When you oh, don't good shoot efficiency the three, too, Mars. Yeah, he was 48, 48 from the field, something like that. 80 mm -hmm. from the line. Like he was he was good. Yeah. But when you don't shoot the three, getting to 40 points takes a lot of shots. And I just don't the way the game is played with all the analytics and stuff, I don't think a team is justifying giving someone 28 shots and 12 free throws. To maybe get 40. I just don't think that's the winning formula. On a Tuesday. Yeah. Like he can he could do like he could do it. Like you put him on the pistons and say, Jordan, just all we care about you averaging as many points as you want. Sure, he could do it. Right. I think if that was the case, James Harden could have done it. But if we're talking about actually trying to impact winning and be the best source of offense for your team, I just don't think someone's shooting so, this so many. This is where I go it. back to this is where I go back to better and greater or circumstantial because nobody, regardless of whoever. The analytical person is on a the team. They're not saying nothing to Mike, so he probably he probably would be shooting twenty eight shots again. That team ain't gonna go very far, but yeah, he could. Then if that's the case, then yeah, he could. Yeah, he probably could put up forty. Well, it depends. But it it I also think many depends. Could put up forty. My fault. Yeah, but I, I always say numbers are similar to what Tremaine said about numbers are circumstantial and based on the situation. I've like. Someone averaging 30 and someone else averaging 27 doesn't mean the other guy couldn't average 30. Right. right. Like, it's, like I, we used this point about Allen Iverson in Denver. Allen Iverson didn't suddenly stop becoming a 30-point scorer. He just went to a team where he didn't need to score 30 because he had mellow and better spacing right. and better teammates, so he went down to 25. But that doesn't mean he was no longer capable of being a 30-point scorer. Kevin Durant, when he went to the Warriors, he was still capable of putting up 30. He just didn't right. need to. James Harden, when he averaged 36, probably could have averaged 40. 
But in terms of the best source of offense for his team, in terms of prioritizing playmaking, not taking as many bad shots, and trying to actually win basketball games, it's probably not the best formula for him to take even more shots. And he was taking 25 shots a game. So that's why I mean it's like, could he do it? Yeah, I think there's guys who are capable of doing it. I think Embiid could average 40. But I don't think that's the best way to win basketball games. So are we focusing on what numbers they can put up or how they can be the most effective? I think that's two different questions. I think a lot of guys could average 40, but I wouldn't be particularly effective. So And and who are we dropping in to this era? Because again, Mars, when you brought up 37 a game Jordan, okay, we're building this unit around him. So in the process of us building this unit around him, he has to do that. So as he as as time goes on and we're building this unit around him and he's getting better, him getting better, he's still getting buckets, but his game is evolving. He's getting better as a defender. He's getting better as a, as a distributor. He's getting better as a scorer. But early on, 1985, 1986, 1987, we're a bad team. So he's got to take all the shots. So so which guy are we dropping into this era? Are we dropping 1991 Michael Jordan into this era, the guy that's already evolved into a great scorer? Or are we are we dropping in the guy who we're building a unit around and we're dropping him on the Washington Wizards, 1987 Jordan? We're dropping him on the Washington Wizards or we're dropping him on the Portland Trailblazers and we're asking him, I right, can you give us pa 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 every night? I mean, yeah, yeah, Michael Jordan, like there's like you got like two, three different versions of MJ. You got the Early MJ, where he was more ball dominant um, and was putting up, I don't know, 37, 35, all of those numbers. Right. Then you got early Phil Jackson, early Phil Jackson MJ, where he played more off the ball, um, was still the super freak athlete, could get to the rim. The He wasn't playing in the post as much, but he was still deadly in the mid-range, all of those things. And then you got second 3P MJ, where right. he was slower, more that in the post. That was the most complete Jordan. Yeah, that, that was That like, was the best Jordan. Yeah, Which in terms one? of skill set, in terms of skill set, second three yeah. engine is probably the most refined. When he switched from 45, that was the yeah, best Jordan. That was probably the most refined, but then like the that's athleticism that's was the clearly best Jordan of all time. It, the, Mark, it, his, his, his athleticism I, was clearly compared to 80s Jordan. Com, yeah, compared to what he was, he was still a but, great athlete. Yeah. yeah, Jordan was still like, do not get it mistaken, y'all. Jordan was yeah, still I'm coming through punching really on people, man. he was still blowing by people, he was sure. still out, he still looked the most athletic on the court. Trey, 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 define when you say refined, because I think I think 92 Jordan, I think that's the best version of him. Okay. Now, 96 Jordan, he slowed down. That's 33-year-old Jordan. He slowed down. Right. He wasn't Air Jordan anymore. But 92 Jordan, I feel like he was at the top of his game. Post right. game, his defense, his athleticism was still there. Right. 96, 97 Jordan, he was a little slow. The athleticism was there. It wasn't there like it was in 92. But I feel like he had gotten a little bit smarter. Which I won't argue. I won't argue right. the IQ part, right? I, I, I won't argue the IQ part. But when you're at the top of your game, which we're going to get into a little bit later, right. but when you're at the top of your game, a, a, a refined player is better than a guy who's at the top of his game. Can Absolutely. You, can, can you talk a little bit more about that? Absolutely. Uh, because that Jordan was more under control. That that Jordan had more experience. You could see things, especially when it comes to energy management, that a lot of players can't see. I'm going to take myself. When I was in college, I had athleticism. I could play. I was dribbling. I was doing my thing. But me at 40 years old right now will cook damn near. I'm killing still in this one-on-one -on -one shit. Yeah. I, I, Paris, when I had to do my training with my pro players, I was running through them. The professor and them was out there with the street ball shit. I was running through everybody mm -hmm. because I'm more under control. I'm more refined, as you say. I can sure. think about what I'm doing before. Whereas that 92 Jordan, he was just playing with pure savagery. Like, don't get me wrong. He still was the greatest. He still was the best. I just think that that Jordan was just better because he was more under control. You don't think Jordan slowed also down by ninety two? Huh? You don't think Jordan had slowed down by ninety two? He did, and and, and not so, and, 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 yes. and and not and slowed and not slowed down athletically more than slowed down in terms of seeing the game. Yeah, like, that's just why seeing think, the game. That, that's why I think ninety two Jordan because when I think about him seeing the game, reading defenses, knowing when to attack a defense as opposed to like 87 Jordan, just give me the ball and go. 92 Jordan was definitely more aware of how the defense was, right. when to attack them. I don't have to exert all my energy in the first half. I don't have to exert all my energy in the third quarter. I know when to pour it on. I know when to step off. 96 Jordan, he already knew that anyway because I wasn't as fast as I used to be. I'm right. not as fast as I used to be. So he already knows that anyway. So I can't give you that. But I can give you him being smarter. I can give you that. Yeah, and he won with a chip on his shoulder. 
Oh, he because washed. People, yeah. yeah, you ain't got it no more. You, you, yeah. you used to have yeah. it. Nah, and that's you, you ain't that dude no more. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, that's why number 24, Kobe, is the best to me as well, especially with all the off-the-court issues he was going through and stuff. When players win with a chip on their shoulder, their mental got to be a lot different than just having the freedom to play basketball. You see what I'm saying? 2001 Kobe Bryant was probably the best I've ever seen. And I've seen 2006 Kobe Bryant and 2008. But 2001 Kobe Bryant, he just looked like I'm better than every last one of you dudes out here. None of you dudes out here are better than me. Not one of y'all do, including the dude on my team. I'm better than all of you dudes. He did did, did, did give me that vibe. That's that's the reason why I love – so I'll actually – I think 80s Jordan is the best to me. I'm not saying more. I'm not saying he's smarter and all of that. It, and then I also like eight Kobe. The reason why I like the young version of these guys is because it's so it's two different mentalities. It's the one mentality when they're older. It's like I didn't already tore all of y'all up. Y'all all know what it is. As a matter of fact, y'all scared of me. So I get to you know I get to play mind games with you guys. I get to play slow. I get to be yeah. deceiving and conniving on the court because I know what I'm gonna do. And you know you almost know what I'm gonna do before I do it, but you just can't stop it. The younger version of these guys is like, I'm still in the league with guys who I got to beat. Jordan, I still got to beat Magic. I still got to beat Bird. I still got to beat uh, Kareem. I got I got all of these goats, I, uh, the bad boy Pistons. I got all of these guys I got to take down. Kobe, I still got to prove I'm better than Shaq. Tim Duncan came and got one in, in 99. I got to prove I'm better than Tim. I got to prove I'm better than Iverson. All, all of these guys that, that are in the league, it's like, I, I, I have to beat you guys. So they have that chip on their shoulder, and they it, it's just that. That dog, you could just see it on, in their face. That dog that they got, it's like I'm taking down everybody. Nobody's stopping me. Not my teammates, not my coach, not myself, not these other guys. Uh, that That's the reason why I like the younger version of these guys, because they just, they, they play with so much passion and intensity. Were they, were they as smart? No. Were they a lot more boneheaded? Yes. But. So you think I'm, that when they was older, they're not playing with the same chip? When everybody count them out? That's the chip that I think is better. Cause you got now you got something to build more reserved. That's the one that Jay had in '96. You walked. That's what I'm yeah, you ain't got it yeah. no more. You, 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 it's, you, it's you, that, you used to be that dude. Because when you coming in, like you saying, like when you excited and you young and you already feel like, oh yeah, I'm about to cook these dudes either way. But when it's over, when you don't have the athletic the athleticism, you don't have the teammates, you don't have the same. The game is different. You got these new people coming in and stuff like that. You got Allen Iverson trying to put you on an island and cross you over. So that shit. Can last for the rest, you know what he did against Jordan and shit. Right. That's when it count. But Trey, can yeah. I say? But Trey, can I say the same thing about ninety one, ninety two Jordan? Where okay, you got to the mountaintop, and I'm trying to get past Magic. I'm trying to get past Bird. I'm trying to get past the all time greats. What you did was a fluke. You can't do it again. Right. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep winning. And now I got to prove on that championship level that I'm just as good as these guys. And that was, that was at the end of Bird and Magic, though. Even if it was at the end of them, I still got to prove. That's what that's what I'm compared to, though. Right? I'm compared to these guys, and now they're on their way out. I'm getting. I'm moving into my prime and into peak Jordan years. In the process of me moving into peak Jordan years, I'm hearing, "Yo, the only reason why you are what you are is because one, them dudes left." Because they got older, and two, right. you can't keep doing what you were doing. You ain't better than Olajuwon. Yeah. You ain't better than this guy. You're not better than that. You ain't better than Jabal. And now I got to prove consistently that I am. So that chip <clears throat> on my shoulder can be just as I think that could be just as substantial as you washed. If Mike would have took away one of them Pistons championships, then I give you that. Like if he wouldn't have let them get two, then I give you that. I mean to sweep them dudes though. To, to sweep you're talking about the dudes, third one? Yeah, yeah. to sweep but, them dudes out the playoffs, that was huge. Big. Yeah, it, it was big. But if he would have took one of them away, I'd be like, that Jordan that you're talking about is it. But the Pistons, them two champions, he, he let them get two in a row. Like, it took him a while to really adapt to getting hit like that. That was a good-ass team. But he I might. Mean, that, 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 that was a good-ass team. And also, who was Jordan rocking with at that moment in time? To even – it was. It, that's why I trip off that Jordan. That Jordan literally did – Everything defended, rebounded, right. was out there blocking shots in the passing lanes, right. scoring in the mid range, going to the hole, dunking on people, and ones. All, all he did, that nigga did everything. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, he did everything for the team and individually, too. He was just a, a crazy all around player. And so, like, for him to even have them in a dog fight with the not necessarily saying it was a dog fight, but have them ha- be in that ring fighting against the whole Pistons. Individually, I, I think that's a 
that that's Kobe would be Hunter in and Kobe would beat them both times with the same spot. <laughs> no, 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 he wouldn't. How about that? If the Bulls, if the Bulls, and if they don't stop the the Pistons that third time, don't they? Don't the Pistons go on to beat the Lakers? Yeah. So I'm saying he he, he 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 stopped them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you're right. He, he, he did what you asked of him. But I'm saying, do, I'm do, saying, do, my, do we not re, do we not remember the the, the the Detroit Pistons that Bryant played against? And I'm and and I'm not I'm not doing this bashing Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I'm do not it, doing that. Do it. I'm not doing that. But do See, you remember? Here Hawks, man. Here no, we're not doing that. So is that <laughs> Pistons team is that Pistons team better than the Bad Boys? They compared to them. I mean, they were in, they were they, 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 they were in the NBA. One, they were in the NBA Finals in back to back seasons, just like just like those Bad Boys. But that Pistons the, team is better than the Bad Boys. That Pistons team, yeah, with Rip Defense Hamilton and Ben Wallace, yeah. Wallace, hell Defense yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I yeah. Think yeah. Just, I, 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 well, Trey, yeah. here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You also got to yeah. understand. I love the bad boys. I'm from Michigan, right? But yeah, Zeke from you know I'm with this whole Midwest, all that. Joe Dumars, I used to hoop there when I was a kid. So Ben, yeah. so Ben, I, I think Ben Wallace was the best defensive player on their team. I won't argue that. Right. And Joe Dumars was the best defensive player on the, the Bad Boys. Right. And after that, I mean, Bill Lambier, as the defender that he was, he was more rough and rugged. But she, she ain't worried about that. Right. I, 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 I think he knocked down the three. I, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and so was she. And I mean, so was so was Ben Wallace, not not Ben Wallace. I'm sorry. In fact, Bill Lambert, that's who he was. He was the original stretch five. He got he got he got a lot of a lot of grief for that. You know, you should have your ass on the block. You should be rebounding more. And the fact that he stretched the defense and shot the three like he did, he got a lot of grief for that. But when I think about those th those Detroit Pistons teams, I mean, it's very similar in the aspect of what they did. Right. Went to the NBA Finals twice. Was in the East Finals six straight six straight five straight years, just like the Bad Boys were. And I mean, they. I, I think that if they play that Laker team ten times, they beat them nine. I because think they smoked them dudes. Look, look at the. Okay, so look at the bad boys who they had to go against, and look who the Pistons. That Pistons had to go against. They okay. had to go against KG and them. They had to go against Dallas. They had like look at the era. Like look how the NBA was at that time, versus what the bad boys era was. That's why they better. Like and they won championships during that time. So who the who the. Who the Pistons had to go against, as opposed to who the Bad Boy, uh, the, who the Bad Boys had to go against. I mean, yeah, we had to beat, we had to, we, we had to beat the, we had to beat Bird, right? We had to beat Jordan. That, that was the end of Bird. No, that was Prime Bird. I, I don't know if they, you remember. They won, the, the, when they won the championships, that wasn't no they, Prime Bird. When they beat, when they beat the, when they beat the, when they beat the Celtics in '88, Bird should have won League MVP that year. That was 30 and 10, 50, 40, 90. Bird. Right. Damn. Okay, that's number one. Number two. When they beat Magic, that was that, first of all, that was Pat Riley. That was his fault. He ran them dudes yeah. in the ground. That's why Byron Scott got hurt. That's why Magic got hurt. They had 10 days off. It was his fault to do that. But dealing with Dominique Wilkins, dealing with Jordan, dealing with Barkley, dealing with these are the guys that we have to go through in order to get to the NBA. Individuals. Finals. Look at the teams. Right. The teams also. I mean, that 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 89, that 89 Sixers team with Barkley. I mean, I, I, I mean, they did win 53 games that year. In a nightmare Eastern okay. Conference. So we, we we're gonna compare the Dallas Mavericks with Dirk and them. Yeah. Boston Celtics with KG, Paul Pierce, sure. Yeah. Yep. Miami Heat. That's when they were starting. Like, mm -hmm. look at the teams. I like, would argue. Yeah. I, I, they, I am. I am looking at the. I am looking yeah. at the teams, and I'm looking at how those teams were built. Now, the set the Boston Celtics, how they were built around Paul Pierce, getting the talent that they got. Right. Sure. Bryant had to deal with them, and he beat them. Same logic with, same logic with the Detroit Piston Bad Boys. How they were built. Jay had to beat them. It took some time to get right. past them, but he but he was able to get past them. None of them other dudes. I mean, Dominique Wilkins was able to get past them early on, and they were built like that. So, I mean, when you talk about teams, that Atlanta Hawks team, they had a good team with Dominique Wilkins and Doc Rivers. They they had a good team. No, they weren't the. Golden State Warriors. No, nah, they weren't that good. I ain't gonna argue yeah. that. No, I'm not arguing that they were that. But they would, and not everybody is that good though. That's the difference, yeah. Trey. I mean, we got a bunch of good teams in the league today, but everybody ain't the Warriors. Just like everybody wasn't the Pistons or the Bulls. So, I agree.
Troy, wait, uh.